Hey there, thank you for stopping by. I've got a beautiful evening for shooting here, and I'm finally getting to do a video that I've been trying to do for months, and that's the Ruger Precision Rifle versus the Barrett Amrad, both rifles and 300 PRC. Certainly the Ruger, it represents more of the entry-level type long-range rifle. The Barrett Amrad, it's a very high feature, very capable rifle, but with that comes a very significant price tag. So I want to put these side by side on the range and show you what really is the difference when it comes to performance. Does the Barrett MRAD significantly outperform the Ruger Precision Rifle when it comes to 100 yard groups and steel over 1,000 yards? We'll see. I can't wait to show you. So in this video, I want to run through just the specs on the rifles quickly, and then we're going to move down to 100 yards. We'll put three rounds on paper with each rifle to show you groups and zero, and then we'll move out to steel. I'm going to try to shoot a full size IPSC at about 1,500. Then I'm going to try to shoot a 30-inch circle at a mile to 2,000. We'll see how conditions work out. Tonight, I'm not going to get to both 1,500 and a mile. I'll only be able to do 1,500 tonight, and then hopefully I can come back tomorrow night in similar wind conditions and stretch it out to a mile. That said, what are we looking at when it comes to the rifles? The Ruger Precision Rifle is a factory Ruger Precision Rifle. It's got about five to 600 rounds on it. I've had it now a couple years. This was my entry into extreme long range. I've got an awesome load worked up with the 230A tip over H1000 powder, running about 2920 feet per second. So it's moving pretty quick out of this rifle. For a scope, I'm running the Night Force 5 to 25 with the Mill R reticle in it. It's in a spur mount. It's got a built-in level. Love the mount. It's a great package. Harris bipod on it works just fine. I've had it there for several years. I also have about two pounds of additional weight bolted onto the forearm there, just to try to hold that rifle down and tame some of the recoil. So this thing, I've got quite a few rounds on it. I'm very confident in the rifle. It'll get the job done. The Barrett MRAD, I've had this now about four to five months, and I've probably got about 300 rounds on the 300 PRC barrel. The rifle is a factory MRAD. It's got a Night Force 7 to 35 scope on it with the Tremor 3 reticle. Also in a spur mount with the built-in level that I'll be using. And then aside from that, I'm also running the 230A tip. It's running 2875. It's over H1000 powder. So my loads are very similar in these rifles. I'm shooting the same bullet. Both of them are factory configuration. That said, we're almost ready to take her out to the range. But first, I want to call out a partner I've got with the channel, and that's Madison Armament. I'll have a link in the description below. But Madison Armament, if you use the coupon code or the promo code MUSTACHE, just like I've got here, you'll be able to take 10% off of your order. They're a new startup, just like my channel, and I'm excited to pair with them and bring some attention to their website and their equipment. They're the ones that hooked me up with the T1000 hit indicator light that I'll be using tonight and tomorrow night. So without further ado, let's hit the range. Got the MRAD 300 PRC, 100 yards. I'm going to put three rounds on paper, show you a group and the zero, and then we'll move out to some steel. I'm at 25 power on the scope, so I don't have an advantage on magnification. So here we go, three rounds. All right, that's three rounds, easily sub MOA. On the bottom dot, I should have called that out. Now let's try the Ruger. Ruger Precision Rifle, three rounds, 100 yards, 238 tip, shooting the top dot. Not the greatest group out there. That second round pulled to the right. Three rounds are definitely under an inch. They are zeroed. I'll walk you down and show you what I did. So here we are walking up to our target at 100 yards that we shot. Remember we put three rounds from the MRAD on the bottom dot. 
three from the Ruger Precision Rifle on the top dot. So the three from the MRAD, I mean, that's, I don't know, half inch. Beautiful group. The three from the Ruger Precision Rifle at one, two, three. The second round didn't feel that great. That probably was a lot of me, but it's still center to center, just under an inch. That'll get the job done. I wish I had a better group to show you, but let's go shoot some steel. I just got back from putting my full size Ipsic at 1465. I think what we'll do is we'll shoot eight rounds through each rifle, eight rounds through the Ruger Precision, eight rounds through the MRAD. We'll see what kind of hits we get. I've not seen any out there at this distance tonight, so this will be my first round through the Ruger. Tomorrow night, when I shoot a mile plus, I'll shoot the MRAD first, so we'll see kind of what happens with the wind. But there's definitely a left to right out there. I'm going to favor one mil to the left. I'm 11.5 mils of elevation, so here we go. Eight rounds. One mil left. Impact, first round. Not too bad. Impact. Impact. A little bit low on the plate. Oh, that was three in that mag. All right, here we go with five. Wow, 8 for 8, 1465. Ruger Precision getting it done. All right, next up, Baird MRAD. Let's see if we can match the performance of the Ruger Precision Rifle. Beautiful evening, light's getting pretty dim, but I've got eight rounds loaded up, full-size Ipsic, 1465. Here we go. I'm going to favor 1.2 to the left. It looks like the wind might have picked up just a little bit, so... Here we go, 1.2 to the left, 11.9 elevation. Impact. All right. Only go 1.3 left. Oh, just off the left edge. All right, 1.2 it is. Impact. 1.1. 1. 
that. In fact. Impact. Impact. Wow, seven out of eight, 1465. The one miss I had was windage. I think that was on me. Both rifles just hammering out there tonight. It's beautiful. Maybe tomorrow night we'll get out to a mile. All right, so here we are for a second night of shooting with the Barrett MRAD and the Ruger Precision Rifle. I do want to note, it's been about a month since I shot the first part of this video. So the intro, the 100 yard, and the 1,465 yard segment, that was about a month ago. It took me a while. There were some work things that came up. But now I'm back out here, able to shoot these rifles over a mile. So with that out of the way, because you'll notice the grass in the first part of the video is green. Now it's dead because the farmer has sprayed it. So that explains the time gap. But both of these rifles are still shooting the same load. Earlier tonight, I actually put the MRAD because I had to put the 300 PRC barrel in it. So I had it at 100, verified my zero on it, verified my load. So this one I've already fired. The Ruger Precision Rifle is just shooting the same load that I always have. So this one I haven't really done anything with. This one I was messing with some of my other calibers. So with that out of the way, I've got my 30 inch circle down there at 1,820 yards. So just a little bit over a mile. We got a pretty calm night tonight. There's a little bit of wind moving around out there. I was noticing while I was driving the four wheeler to set the target. So almost perfect conditions. I don't know if we have a perfect shooter, but conditions are really good. So with that out of the way, Let's stretch the MRAD out, and then we'll stretch the Ruger Precision out, see how we do out there a little over a mile on a 30-inch circle. We've got the MRAD loaded up. We've got that 30-inch circle down there, 1,820 yards. I've dialed up 17.6 mils. It seems really calm right now, but I can see a little bit of left and right mirage. So I'm going to favor left one mil, and we'll send it. Let's see what we can do. All right, one mil left. Also, I'm on like 25 power, so magnification is not going to be an advantage. Oh, I didn't see it. All right, let's send another one. Okay, just off the right edge, I see it. All right, I'm gonna go to 1.2 to center. Ah, just off the left edge. Impact. That was right at one mil. Impact. Right at one mil and my light fell off. Impact. I'm going to increase my wind hold to 1.2. Dropped off to four o'clock. All right, I'm going to stay at 1.2. Ooh, 
too much. All right, I'm going to go back to one. Impact. Let's go back to one. Ah, just off the right edge. That's it. So I got four impacts out there. Should have done a little bit better on the wind, but I'm all right with it. So here's a close up of the plate that I just shot with the MRAD 30 inch circle, 1,820 yards. You can see the four impacts there. On the right edge, I wish I'd done a little bit better on my wind calls, but four out of 10, not too shabby, a little over a mile. All right, here we are, 1,820 yards, 30 inch circle with the Ruger Precision Rifle. I've dialed up 17 mils. It feels pretty calm out here right now. I noticed a little bit of left to right in the dust on my four wheeler when I was setting the target. So I'm gonna favor one mil to the left for this first round and see where we're at. All right, one mil left. Impact, first round. My light fell off. Let's do it again. Just off the left edge, I cut my wind back to a half mil. Just off the right edge. All right, I gotta split that difference. So let's go 0 0.75. Ooh, just under it. All right, so that's two for five. Let's load up five more. All right, I'm gonna hold that same one mil. Ooh, just off the... Nine o'clock. Ooh, nine o'clock. Impact, that was at 0.75. Impact. All right, five out of 10 with the Ruger Precision Rifle at 1,820 yards. Not too shabby, the wind was decently consistent. I think some of the misses were probably me, but solid performance. So here's a close up of the target from the Ruger Precision Rifle, 30 inch circle, five hits out of 10. Oh man, did I have fun shooting that. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did getting to pull the trigger. Very cool to be able to put these two rifles side by side. So now I wanna take just a couple of minutes to kind of review my experience shooting these two rifles side by side, owning them for several months, 
and give you an idea of what I see as an owner of these two, what the differences are. Why does the MRAD command a higher price? And does the Ruger Precision Rifle hold me back? But before I do that, I do want to mention, don't forget, Madison Armament, who we're partnered with, promo code MUSTACHE, 10% off your order. And I just created an Instagram page for the channel. It's Mountains Mullets America. So go follow me there. You get the inside scoop on what I'm doing, what kind of videos I'm working on. And I'll engage with you through the messages and through comments and whatnot. So I hope that's kind of a fun addition to the channel as we start to grow. Don't forget to subscribe, like it, and share this with your friends if you enjoyed this. Now, as far as the experience with the two rifles, as far as shooting out here, you saw it 100 yards. The MRAD laid down the beautiful sub-MOA group. The Ruger Precision Rifle, it laid down a solid group. I think I pulled that one round to the right, so probably on me, but also sub-MOA. Then we moved out to steel at 1465 on a full-size IPSC and straight up could not miss with this Ruger Precision Rifle. Did beautiful. MRAD, it was right there with it. I think there was one miss due to some windage there, probably my fault, but straight up cleaned up a full-size IPSC out there at 1465. Then we moved out to that 30 inch circle, just over a mile. And in my opinion, had pretty solid performance. From what I can tell, the time I'm out here shooting, I'm about a 50% shooter when I'm shooting that 30 inch circle at roughly a mile. And we saw that with the Ruger Precision. I went five for 10. The MRAD, I went four for 10. And I think the misses were probably on me. I wasn't keeping up with the wind like I should have been because my misses were just on each side of the plate there. So that said, is the MRAD giving me an advantage over the Ruger Precision Rifle when it comes to shooting. And for me and my capabilities, it does not. So out of the box, I've had this Ruger Precision Rifle now going on two years. I've had a ton of fun at extreme long ranges with this rifle. I've gone over 2,000 with it. I've taken the MRAD over 2,000. Both of these are very capable in this 300 PRC package. So with that in mind, why does the MRAD command the price it does? Well, it comes down to the features that are in this rifle that you won't find in the Ruger Precision Rifle. The first things that come to my mind, the easy one is the barrel change capability. I love this. This gives you the ability with two screws to pull out the barrel, put in a new caliber in like two minutes, and you're shooting something different. So earlier tonight, I actually had my 6.5 barrel in. I was working on my 6.5 load. The lighting got right. I decided to throw the 300 PRC in. In three rounds, I was back zeroed, and then I was out here shooting a mile. Love that capability versus having to have a whole second rifle, a whole nother scope, a whole nother case, taking up room in the pickup. I love the barrel change capability and I use it quite frequently between the 6.5 barrel, the 300 PRC, and the 338 Lapua. Love that and I think that justifies a ton of the price. Now this thing out of the box, you're getting one caliber, but as you saw, it is dialed in. It's a sub MOA rifle. It's capable of ELR, no problem if you're doing your parts on your hand loads. Now, other pieces of the Barrett that kind of justify the price. 10 round box magazines. I prefer that over the five round of the Ruger. Now, you saw it here at a mile. I probably burned through 10 rounds faster than I should have because I didn't have to do a mag change, but it is pretty handy having 10 rounds in one box mag all the way up to 338 Lapua versus the five rounds in the Ruger Precision Rifle. Beyond that, the ergonomics of the rifle, I prefer the MRAD. So like the stock on the Ruger folds to the left-hand side, makes it very fat when you factor in the bolt, trying to put it into a bag or something. The MRAD folds to the right over top of the bolt knob, makes it a lot slimmer, and I like that. Stock adjustability, the MRAD, there's a push button right here. You push this button in and you can adjust that stock. Very simple, up and down, cheek, whatever you wanna do. The Ruger Precision Rifle is adjustable. Now, stock pad up and down is not adjustable, but in and out, cheek piece up and down, it is adjustable, but to do that, you got these little flip down uh, screw mechanisms that you flip them down, loosen them, slide it, tighten them. It works, it's just not as fast, and in my opinion, as repeatable as the MRAD stock. So really, really like that. The next thing, triggers on these, out of the box, this MRAD trigger is unbelievable. Love it, thought I'd have to change it out. The Ruger Precision Rifle, I actually failed to mention the intro. This is an aftermarket, I believe it's a Timney, two-stage flat trigger. So I never even tried the factory trigger. I threw the Timney in and I love that. So apologize for not causing that out earlier on in the video. Recoil wise, they're very similar. Obviously the Ruger, I put two extra pounds of weight on. Shooting them out here, uh, there's not, I can't really tell a big difference. You know, that's, this is more controllable under recoil than this one is. It's, if you've got a good position, 
you're able to spot your impacts out there no problem. So neither one is more punishing in the recoil department. And they really shouldn't be because they both have very effective brakes and they're very heavy. So next up, what do I love about the Barrett? And there's two more things I want to call out. First off, packaging. When you get these rifles, this one came in a Pelican case. It was kind of cut for it. It had enough room to fit the scope. It holds extra magazines. I love the Pelican that this came with. This Ruger Precision rifle came in a cardboard box. No problem for the price, but it's pretty cool to get that in the MRAD. But the biggest thing that I love about this MRAD and that I've grown to love about Barrett is their customer service. It has been absolutely unbelievable. I've been shooting for a long time. I've used customer service for many of the big name companies in the industry in the shooting sports. And by far, Barrett is the best. They have been awesome to work with. There's been a couple of things that have happened with this rifle. It's not problems. A couple of them were on me. On the 300 PRC reloading wise, I, I reached out to them and they were able to tell me it was a die setup issue on the rifle. I had an extractor uh, trouble on the 6.5 barrel. They shipped me one free of charge, no pro like no questions asked. I cannot speak too highly of Barrett customer service. It has been awesome. Now, that said, I haven't used Ruger customer service. I haven't had a need to, but Barrett has been awesome on the customer service side, and I really appreciate that. And it really gives me peace of mind knowing that there's a company like Barrett backing this rifle up, because this is a big time investment. So in summary, does the Ruger Precision Rifle is it going to hold you back compared to something like a Barrett MRAD? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I think out of the box, you've got an ELR mile plus capable rifle right here. It'll give you what you need to build your long range fundamentals, build your reloading skills, build your shooting skills, build your wind reading skills. You can do it with this rifle. Very, very nice price point on this thing. The MRAD, it just kind of builds on that and it gives you a ton of extra features that you might start looking for once you spend some time around these rifles. That's what happened to me. I spent my time on the Ruger Precision Rifle, learned what I wanted, and then I stepped up into the Barrett MRAD. So anyway, if you've made it this far, I really appreciate you sticking around. I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. I've got more ideas in the works that I'll start dropping, but feel free to comment, ask me any kind of questions, hit me up on Instagram. If there's anything you wanna see, let me know and I'll try to do it. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. You in the next video. Thank you.